Hi guys, so I just found a new like little secret place and it's so beautiful and there's baby ducks and baby geese. It looks so good. Hey, my name is Emma. Welcome back to this channel and another vlog, another weekly vlog. Um, this week I'm really excited. Well, like, okay, first of all, let's address. It is a humidex of, I believe, 40 or 41 degrees today. Um, I think right now it's 32, but then the humidex is an extra 10 degrees almost, which, hence, 
So I just went around and watered all of my plants, especially my very large tomato and pepper plants now on the balcony. I think we're like this close to being able to eat some of the tomatoes, which is so exciting. Um, I'm just very happy about it. So I'm just like really trying to keep an eye on everyone in here because it is so warm. I actually need to, I forgot to water that one. Whoa. Anyway, today is Monday. Oh, it's not May anymore. June something it's monday june something um but this week the goal is just to have like a nice relaxing week kind of take it easy but i also just want to find so much like magic in life and in nature i think this week because you guys know i talk i've been talking about studio ghibli for so long now not really so long because i just watched my first studio ghibli in april but i recently finished a book it was the first book i finished in june and that was miyazaki world which is a non-fiction by susan napier and this is all about miyazaki's life and his art so it kind of went through his life his growing up what he was doing in tokyo what his family was doing during the second world war and then it goes into his first film which wasn't associated with studio ghibli yet and then it goes through all of the movies he's directed um, and it ends with the wind rises. So I know, it, I, I don't know when this came out, but um, fabulous. It just was like everything I wanted out of something kind of exploring Miyazaki and just the way that she broke down the films and the themes and the symbolisms. It was just beautiful. I was like, yes, Susan, this is brilliant. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted. It provided me with a lot of information and new insights, and it just felt like taking a literature class again. Um, and just like Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli, it's just such a world that like I want to inhabit. And like, it's just really nice because I have been going out in my own life and trying to like get that feeling. Do you know what I mean? And get that out of life and it's it's been really great so that's kind of the mission for this week as well um but i do have some reading updates outside of miyazaki world so let's talk about it um sailor moon volume two is something that i'm still reading i have not made any more progress since i talked to you in my last vlog which was in may i'm still 76 pages through but so loving this um the theme i think for this month hopefully as well will also just be comfort reads and fun um, and just everything feel good because I haven't been feeling super well recently, which I'll probably talk more about in this video because I just want this to be more of like kind of an open letter, just talking chatty type of video, but absolutely loving this, just so loving this. For the Dickens versus Tolstoy book club, our pick for June is Oliver Twist by Dickens. So as you can see, I have started this and I will not be talking about this too much here other than just probably to tell you how much I've been reading of it because I am doing a whole vlog, possibly many vlogs dedicated to Oliver Twist because I am loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it at the moment. Like it's so good. Um, as of today, I'm 75 pages through. Very happy with this one. And then ladies and gentlemen, so many people have been so excited that I picked this up. It's this one, this book. Sorry, I took the dust jacket off. It's Anne of Green Gables. I finally started the audiobook for Anne of Green Gables. I've never read this. This beautiful, wonderful masterpiece by Ellen Montgomery. Oh dear God, I'm 88 pages through. Magic, magic, just wow. I don't know why I didn't have as high expectations for this book as I should have because this is mind blowing. The nature writing in this book it is literally the most magical nature writing I've ever witnessed. So I'm listening to the audiobook. Um, this edition is a 1969 print uh, that I found at a thrift store. So it also comes with illustrations and stuff like that. Those are my reading updates. And now I'm gonna go water the rest of my four plants.
I finally checked my P.O. box um, recently and I feel like I just have so much to show you guys. Um, also, number one, if you did send me something, thank you so much. Um, my life has just been surrounded by so much magic from you guys recently. But also, um, we are still in lockdown here, but I am trying to get out something to you if you sent me something. Um, if you left your return address on it. If you sent me something and it's been like a while and you haven't heard or anything, it's probably just because Canada's mail is a little bit tipsy-turvy right now, but I don't think we're gonna be in lockdown for that much longer, so hopefully I'll be able to get things out quicker. But that being said, I just feel like I have so much like show and tell stuff to show you guys. So um, let's do it. If like any of them are small businesses or anything like that, those will all be in the description. And just thank you so much. You just, the, cheek muscles get used so much. Okay, the first is this gorgeous piece of art that I put in a frame and hung over my kitchen table at the minute. I believe this is from Elena, so thank you so much. I love it. It is so gorgeous, um, and it just, the colors work so well. It is so pretty, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan, but I need it to survive at the minute. Okay, so I'm slowly building up my little postcard art wall with all of your bits and bobs, but this one's actually from Carolyn because she's so sweet. Um, and she sent me this along with one of her newest Dickens and Tolstoy art pieces, the little bookmarks artist on the page. Um, but this one is a quote from Jack London that says, I shall use my time which I adore. So this one's definitely gonna go on the wall as well. All right, this is also part of the miscellaneous, just like show and tell time we're having right now, but a publisher called SP Books reached out to me. They are located in France. And what they do is publish manuscripts, the handwritten manuscripts of various classics. And they reached out and they were like, hey, would you like one? And I was like, oh, you have no idea. I would really, I would, I would more than just like one. I would absolutely adore. I am in awe. So they very kindly sent me Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, her handwritten manuscript, a copy of her handwritten manuscript. Um, can we just... Oh. Oh. My little heart. My little heart was not able to take this. Also, this is gorgeous and huge. I cannot believe. Okay. Um, these are also, I believe, limited editions. So there's only a thousand of them in print. I've never had a limited edition anything. That's so cool. Okay. Her handwriting. That's Mary Shelley. That is Mary Shelley's hands writing Frankenstein. Are you joking? I will leave a link to their website below. Like I said, they have a whole bunch of manuscript classics. Um, and I know they have like the picture of Dorian Gray. Yeah, they have F. Scott Fitzgerald, Lewis Carroll, the Brontes, Jules Verne, Victor Hugo. Oscar Wilde, Jean Cocteau, they have so many different people. So I am just literally so over the moon about this. Like I need to now find a place on my bookshelves, but as you can see, the bookshelves are a little busy being full. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I definitely want to display this somewhere because it deserves it. So we're gonna have to find that. Next up, a lovely, lovely person named Juna sent me some of her art. Um, as well as some other stuff, so thank you so much. I'll just put up her Instagram and Etsy. It says, Andrew hates ham. I don't know if you saw the I love snails or if you heard me say that or something, but she sent me little snails. Oh my gosh. Thank you. These are so wonderful. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is also a piece of art I forgot to show you the other day because I remembered that I stuck it right above my bed. I have some other pieces, but this is also by Juna. And like I said, the shop is linked down below because look at the mushrooms. I love them. I love them. I love them. And then um, I put this one here, which is also made by one of you guys. Y'all, you guys are just so talented. I don't understand. So this is here, which I love, love. And then this is a print I found on Redbubble. 
of the bathhouse from Spirited Away, which I love. I just love it so much. So that's all I have here above my bed at the minute, but I think I'm gonna fill the rest of the space up as well. This book is so good. I'm 120 pages into it and it's so wonderful, especially because um, I think I was first exposed to Anne of Green Gables in school because we watched, I think my whole grade seven class, we all became so enamored with it. We watched the old movies. Um, I don't know what year they're from, but they were so good. We all got so invested. Um, and then I just never picked up the book, but um, I just really loved those movies. Everyone did. And I would love to watch them again. Um, maybe sometime. I think I have them on VHS at home, actually, if my parents kept them, but um, it's just fun to like see the movie too in my head, and this is so gorgeous, so wonderful. All the characters are so oh, amazing. If you've never heard of Anna Green Gables, um, we follow Anne Shirley, who is an orphan from Nova Scotia, and she is adopted by Matthew and Marilla Cuthbert, who live at Green Gables on Prince Edward Island. Avonlea and uh, it's just about her life fitting in there they were expecting a boy they wanted to adopt an orphan boy to help on the farm but they end up with Anne by a curious mistake or coincidence and then it's her and them adjusting to life on the island and just everything it's so good it's so good I'm loving this so incredibly much Good evening. So, it is like actually stupidly warm this week, the whole week, and for a few days now it's just been a huge heat wave and it's actually very warm in here. I've also not really been able to film during the day um, this week at all because, well, it's been like honestly since January, there's just been everyday construction noise in my building because literally I think every single thing that a building could possibly fall apart with my building has proceeded to do. Um, so this week I've been having a lot to go to my parents' house and try and film there, which is difficult because I don't have, you know, kind of what I need there. So yeah, that's just been rough and the heat in here as well has been really rough. So anyway, I am actively looking for apartments, apartment hunting and searching. So hopefully, hopefully very soon, um, I'll be able to move, which I'm so excited for. I just want to get out of here so badly. 
I really do. But um, regardless, I do have some reading updates for you guys because um, I have three books I'm currently reading and then I'm thinking of starting a couple more just because I'm having fun. So first one is Sailor Moon. I was reading so much of this last night, like the audible gasps that were coming out of my mouth. It's just so good. I'm currently on act 10, which is like 143 pages through. I am enjoying myself so much, like way too much. Like I'm just having the best time ever. Um, there's so much of the story that's like continued in here. So I am doing, like I said, a whole manga vlog. So that should be coming hopefully soon. I'm also reading Oliver Twist, like I said, and now I'm 120 pages through. This is really good. I think it's going to be really hard for me to defend Tolstoy or to say anything negative about Dickens in here because this is honestly incredible. As well, there will be a separate vlog for this one. So the book that we can talk the most about is Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables. I'm 186 pages through now. This has just been the nicest companion to have while I'm doing chores or working or anything like that. Like, it's so sweet. I think this is going to be a five star and I'll, I know I was talking last time about L.M. Montgomery's nature writing and stuff, but also just her characters, her character development and herself. Everyone in this book I love so, so much. Um, and it's just like the payoff and the character development and everything like that in this book is just top notch. I cannot believe how beautiful this actually is. Um, it's astounding. Definitely want to continue on after I finish Anne of Green Gables because of course there's more books um, by L.M. Montgomery in the Anne world. Um, and it's just honestly so sweet and so special and there's so much about imagination. It is reminding me a lot of A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Um, so yeah, just absolutely adoring this. I'm so glad I picked it up. I've been listening to it so slowly and yeah, I am a little over halfway through now. So it's going so well though. All right, so I have a couple books, like I said, that I was thinking of starting. And the first one is a romance and that is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Um, I really, really want to get into this. I've been seeing everyone on booktube talk about this one recently and I don't know too much about it. I believe we are following um, a woman who's not really into relationships, that doesn't seem to be her thing, but she wants to kind of get better at it and so she hires an escort, I believe. Um, and then I obviously I think they fall in love or something like that. That's all I know about it. Like I said, I don't really know anything, but if I do end up stepping into the kiss quotient this week, you will definitely hear more about it. And then really excitingly, I think I'm going to be doing a buddy read with my friends, which I haven't done for a while. And we're going to be buddy reading Rilke's book of hours, better known as Love Poems to God. Um, I think, I don't really know, this might be my, I want to call it like my fifth or sixth reread of this, but I've never read it with anyone else, so that's just going to be really fun. I do have two copies of this one. I have like one of the anniversary editions. They're both translated by Anita Barrows and Joanna Macy, but... I just thought I would start fresh with this copy. This one, one of my best friends found for me at a thrift store, so that's just also really special, but this is the copy I'm going to choose to annotate, and I believe this is the copy that um, my friends have as well. I'm going to be reading this with Carolyn and Lucy and Mary, so I'm just so excited. Um, I read this honestly like once a year, I want to say, or almost once a year, and this one's really nice too. It is the bilingual edition and we're just gonna take it really, really slowly, like a few poems a day and they are really short. Um, so yes, very, very excited to step back into this, fully annotate it. And it's also the perfect time because at the minute I have been working pretty much all today on my Rilke video. I've been kind of piecing together some b-roll for it. Um, the video is all about letters to a young poet and I don't really want to call it a book review because it's not like talking about kind of how I felt about the book because I think we all know that but it's just kind of going through letters to a young poet and breaking it down letter by letter. Um, kind of similarly with what I did with Snow Country by Kawabata which was kind of the first book review standalone book review I did on my channel and I really want to start making more of those because I think it just lets me spend more time with the book, it lets me think more deeply about it, it lets me speak more deeply about it, and I really do love devoting one video to one book, and as well, it's just letting me be so creative, especially with the b-roll, because I'm trying to do do different things with it as well, and that's just been so fun today, so, um, and more than that, it's making me want to get back into Rilke, like, <laughs> reading more quotes from his letters and stuff, so that is 
the stack for tonight. Um, I turned off my little AC for a few seconds to talk to you guys and now I must go and turn it back on because I am actually just sweating here. Um, sitting here doing nothing. So the plans for tonight, I definitely want to read Oliver Twist tonight. I think that's what I'm going to choose to read some more. I've been having a really good fun keeping track of different things in this book. And as well, I'm going to do, I think, a whole video on Oliver Twist at the minute. So that's why I'm annotating it. Of course, I annotate for the Dickens vs. Tulsa Book Club, all of them, but I'm going to read this. And then if I get through my section, I definitely want to pick up more of Sailor Moon because so much is happening. And then um, I might watch a little, little bit of Kiki's Delivery Service because I'm literally still only 15 minutes through, you guys. Um, so I might try to watch like another 15 minutes tonight, too, if it all goes according to plan. But... Um, Let's read. Hello, today is Friday. It's finally Friday. We made it all the way to the end of the week and I have to say it has been a magical one, both in terms of reading and just walking adventures. Every time I go for a walk, I'm on the hunt for flowers and animals and anything that will just brighten my day. And yesterday I got to see some baby ducks and that was just really, really nice. So Sailor Moon is informing all of my hairstyle choices. Um, oh, also these earrings were made by one of you guys as well. If I remember, I will link their shop down below because they're little acorns. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, so as for reading updates, I was listening a lot to Anne of Green Gables yesterday, which was really nice. So I got all the way to page 258. So I really don't have that much longer on this book. I honestly might finish it today because, um, well, I do have a lot of plans. I do have a lot of working plans. I have a lot of YouTube stuff I want to do. And need to do because um the construction people just stopped finally and like if i ever release another blooper reel which i probably will you will see the pain because this morning i filmed my june tbr even though we're already 11 days into june but like i said i really haven't been reading that month that much so i did film what i want to read for the rest of the month but it was so hard i had to stop every five minutes but it's over it's done i got it done so now i have to edit a bunch um, so I will probably pick this up while I'm cleaning up around here and doing my chores, but it's just incredible. It's like a whole other world and Anne Shirley is just a whole other caliber of human being. It's also such a wonderful meditation on imagination, but also the dangers of imagination, um, especially because Anne is one who romanticizes everything and is so much in her head all of the time, but L.M. Montgomery like really does show the dangers of that as well which is interesting and i think honestly anne of green gables just has so much more in it and there's so much more depth than what i originally thought so i was also reading a lot of sailor moon last night i don't want it to end i don't want to spoil anything so i feel like i can't really talk about this properly but i just oh it's just so good it's making me so happy that's all i have to say and then i'm not sure if i was talking to you guys about the book of hours are not in this vlog, but last night I read just the introduction because I believe Mary still has to find a copy of it. So um, yeah, I'm very looking forward to starting this and yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be annotating or looking for. I might just read it and enjoy it and just have really good conversations with Lucy, Carolyn, and Mary about it, honestly, but I don't know. If I do end up annotating it, I will let you know, but I think today I at least want to read like the first couple of poems, so yeah. And then I also decided that I wanted to start The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, so I picked that one up last night. It is spicy immediately, immediate spice. Spice is immediately had in the first bite of that book. So basically we are following, I believe she's 30 years old, and she is, her name is Stella, and Stella is an econometrician, I believe. She's making the big bucks with statistics anyway, but her love life is very lacking and the novel opens with both of her parents wanting her to find a husband, um, but she's just not really into relationships. That's not her thing. The book begins with her kind of thinking what she's going to do, if she's going to ask out anyone from her work, if she wants to make her parents happy, but what she ends up doing is calling an escort service because she thinks that's like the best, the safest way, and kind of the most removed way to get better at intimacy and tackle her fear and so the escort she hires is this man named michael wait is his name michael yeah and so they meet at like a restaurant or no a hotel or something and yeah so far i'm really liking it i'm not sure like i just wasn't expecting so much romance already like so much smut already 
which is fine but i'm just interested to kind of see how the story is gonna progress so i am reading a lot of good things right now but yeah the plans for today i really need to go get some milk i always run out of milk every single vlog i run out of milk remind me to just buy more milk <laughs> i think i want to make pizza dough tonight because i last time i made pizza dough i turned like half of it into really yummy pizza but the other half i just made into regular like garlic bread and that was even better so i think i'm just gonna follow the same pizza dough recipe but don't turn it into pizza dough turn it into the garlicky bread goodness and then kind of dip it into like tomato sauce or something like that other than that i don't really have any fun fun plans um i think i just want to work a lot on some youtube stuff i want to maybe browse a little bit more the course catalog for september at school for the fall semester i don't know if i've said in a vlog i think i mentioned it on instagram that i want to try going back again at least part-time so i think taking or at least trying to take a maximum of three courses although i could just drop them if my brain isn't able to handle it and of course i need to get in touch again with like accessibility services and disability services at school for help which is just going to be a lot of like paperwork and hassle but i did it last year so should be hopefully smoother this year but yeah when i kind of go through the course catalog actually maybe we could do that together because it's just been so long since i've had like school content on here and i've missed it so much i am so excited for september for a number of reasons but i'm also very extremely nervous not only about like in-person classes because they're thinking everything's gonna be in person and i'm just scared i think everyone it's just so weird like getting back into the world now that things are getting a little bit better um it's just scary and hard especially because we've spent like over a year kind of regarding each other as potential threats um and that's just gonna be really hard and on top of that i am nervous about how the concussion is gonna take it but just need to be slow just need to be chill about it and hopefully it will go a lot better than the last time we tried going back to school so yes anyway let's get on with the day we have some work to do we have some videos to edit we have some chores to do we have some milk to get and i think i'm gonna be skyping my friends tonight so that should be good to hear all about their weeks too <laughs> Um, it's around 9 30 but I finally finished the audiobook it was incredible as you saw I got goosebumps I cried like it was just so good I'm so sad that it's over and I really want to read the next one of course because this was so good like literally just so good it filled my heart up with so much love and joy and nature and it was so so amazing hi guys so it is now the weekend and i just wanted to come on here and sign off the vlog i just sat down and filmed a video and now i have to put all these books away so you'll be seeing that very soon i think right after this vlog actually wait da -da 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 -da. yes on the weekend um but thank you so much for watching i actually did end up finishing a book last night and that was sailor moon five stars it was spectacular um, I just had so much fun reading this, and this week was just so fun and magical. I got to finish Anne of Green Gables, um, I got to finish Sailor Moon, and overall I just had like a really magical time growing my tomatoes, foraging through the forest, and just having really good moments with nature and stuff like that. So I think maybe next week I'd like to do more of a maybe like self-care um, through the eyes of maybe the same thing. Um, just having a nice calming week again because this week was really good for me so yeah i hope you all had a really wonderful day and if not i hope you go make it out into the sunshine or into the rain or into the snow or into the falling leaves or just onto the ground beneath your feet so with that i will see you in my next video ciao <laughs>